Hi gorgeous, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be playing with a few new goodies I picked up. I've got two things from Raban, again. <laughs> the new highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury, which isn't really new because it launched last year. It's just a new packaging. And I've got a few goodies from Queen Mutia that I'm gonna be trying on camera with you today. Also, now that I feel a little bit more secure about sharing my weight loss journey with you guys, stick around until the end so you can see what I weigh in at this week. Before I get started on my eyes, I'm gonna use my Denesta Myricks Balm on my lips. They've been moisturized, I moisturize them all the time, but I just want a little something extra. And this isn't heavy, like a lip mask. It's really thin. So I love using it on my lips in case you guys haven't thought about that. It is so nice, especially at night. Just put it under your lip mask, put this on first, and then under your lip mask. But to be fair, I use Aquaphor on my lips when I go to bed because I have found nothing better. Oh, cannot recommend it enough. And when I'm taking care of patients and they go to bed, I'll give them Aquaphor if I have it or um, some, tort some sort of petroleum-based jelly for their lips. It's very, very good for your lips. During the 21 days of Ulta, I went ahead and took advantage of buying the Rabon Liquid Shot eyeshadows. Well, I got my coupon for 20% off, <laughs> even including prestige brands. I love Rabon. I have enjoyed my experience. So I bought two more. I bought the quad and I bought another duo. This is the duo in Macaron, the green and pink, and this is the quad Feel My Vibe. Very neutral. Okay, forgot my choker. Okay, I just, I wanted to wear my choker today. And my proud parent of a senior 2022, cannot wait for my proud parent 24. Got another one graduating this year. It is a very difficult experience as a mom and we are getting closer and closer. This is our quad. I gravitate towards colors more often than not, but I have a special place in my heart for neutrals, especially when you understand you can combine a beautiful color to any neutral palette. Very, very beautiful. Let me see if I can show you up close. You've probably seen the pictures. You don't need me reiterating it, but I haven't swatched these at all. I'm very curious. Martina said that these feel more like a cream, cream to powder matte. Ooh, that shimmer feels nice. Okay. I should have swatched that a little bit better. The blue looks like a topper shade. Interesting. I'm gonna go into this matte shade called Uptown. This one felt like a cream to powder when I touched it. I could be wrong, but this is a very beautiful nudie matte. Nudie, nudie matte, nudie brown. And just like the black duo that I have, oh, this applies easily. Very nice. This feels like a very neutral brown shade. It's neither too warm nor too cool. I'm gonna take a Sigma E54 medium sweeper and pick up this deep shade in the palette. This is a metallic called Bogish. Oh, cute name. I've got too many mom things to do today. Don't have a whole lot of time to sit in front of the camera. So I'm not having any difficulty applying this, I am going to see if I can blend out that metallic into my crease though. Let's use a Sigma E38 diffused crease and see if I can kind of blend out this metallic shade. I guess I've done very similar looks recently with neutrals. <laughs> I need to step it up, throw in a little more color. I'm gonna take a Sigma E15 flat definer and I'm gonna pick up that black metallic shade on the tip of my brush and sweep this along my lower lash line. I'm not gonna bring it in far, I wanna use some color. And now I'm gonna use an E27 and I'm going to pick up this the <laughs> little matte shade here and gently sweep it all along my lower lash line. I'm 
I'm gonna come back to this palette. I'm gonna switch to my duo. This is the duo in Macaron, very cute. Let's see here. Neutral pink or green. I totally wanna to go with this green. So I'm gonna take a Sigma E57 and I'm gonna apply this dry first and see how we do. Okay. I can feel a little bit of fallout on my, fa my face from this one. I don't mind it. It's a shimmer. Don't go in expecting shimmers to have no fallout. It's just a normal thing. That's pretty. Okay. I'm going to try with my finger now. I'm going to pick it up on my little pinky. And see if I get a more opaque color payoff. Hmm. It definitely feels more opaque when I use my finger. Feels, looks. Let me try gently sweeping or patting a little bit of that over the black. Or it's more of a taupey, taupey silver shade. That is actually really pretty. I do need to kind of fix it though because I feel like a little bit of that deep shade is disappearing. I'm gonna lay it down at an angle. I was expecting that green to be a little bit more opaque and it's not. And I've got this shade here. It's a, a duochrome called, is that Chic? Yeah, Chic. A duochrome called Chic. And this has more pink pigment to it Huh. Okay, let's give that a try right there in the center. I may have overdone it. Oh well, who cares? Let me take the pink shade in this Macaron Duo and put that in my brow bone. You certainly do not have to put anything in your brow bone if you don't want to. turned out really pretty. Okay. I do like that. Let's put a little bit of that green on my lower lash line though. I'm going to use a melt pencil brush and pick up that green shade. I'm going to put that on my, ooh, my lower lash line. I'm going to press a little too hard. These Ribbon pigments are not making my allergies flare up, so that's good. If you're sensitive and you have allergies like mine, something to note. I would like to point out from my experience nursing, take this with a grain of salt, but of all of the beautiful older ladies I have taken care of, everyone that has worn makeup in the hospital, and yes, they wear makeup in the hospital, there are a lot of elderly women who enjoy makeup. Believe it or not, these women are some of the most adorable I have ever taken care of. There is not a single soul who I've worked with who has not found it absolutely adorable and beautiful and fun. No one I have ever worked with has ever judged these patients. If you're thinking I'm at an age I can't wear makeup anymore, that is false. That is entirely false. There has not been a single woman I have taken care of or a woman I have worked with who has ever thought that. I want you to genuinely embrace wearing makeup and having fun. There is always going to be someone who will frown upon you, but they don't wear your face. They don't live your life. And there is nothing better than happiness because happiness is contagious. And I would say, and I'm, I know it's all anecdotal, but every single one of those women I ever took care of are some of the happiest people I have ever taken care of. They're living their life for them. I got a PR package from Queen Musia, or Musia, someone correct me, I'm sorry. They sent me a mascara and two lipsticks. I'm gonna use this mascara today. This is vegan plankton extract made in Italy. 95% natural raw ingredients, castor oil de derived, deprived, derived brush, 
Universal Mascara from a red carpet to landing on Mars. Oh, by the way, I'd never heard of them before and when I looked them up, I was so intrigued and captivated by their futuristic uh, appearance and I, I could not kind of get out of that vortex. It was just beautiful. This has a six month shelf life. It is in the shade Simply Black. I think that's their only shade though. Hmm, okay, there are, there is nine mils of product in here. And the ingredients are all listed on the back. I can barely read this. I need my glasses for that. Oh, so the mascara packaging, it's very futuristic. It's a long rectangle. Oh, I love the lines, the sleek lines. This mint green is gorgeous. The mascara is called 2053. And honestly, I feel like, okay, weight wise, let's discuss the weight. It's very weighty. That might be right now, as far as packaging goes, my only complaint, <laughs> my little doggy, my only complaint and hear me out. The reason for that is because I take care of a lot of elderly people with chronic diseases, joint pain. I've done years of orthopedics. This might, if you've got any type of chronic joint pain, be too heavy. I personally do not have that. So I'm only speaking from experience as a nurse. This might be too heavy in your hand. It is a little bit weighty, a little bit weightier than my Lisa Eldridge mascara and my Rabanne mascara. So bear in mind, if you can't tolerate heavy things, this might be a little too heavy for you. I think it could be reduced in weight for the sake of consumers. This has, oh, the bristles and natural brush to, bleh, brush to it. That's beautiful. I don't know off the top of my head if this is a tubing mascara or not. I'll look that up. It's probably going to be a little too thick of a brush for my lashes, but I think it's about the same as the Rabanne, so I'll have to compare those two. It might be okay. Let me curl my lashes really quickly because I've got little short stubby friends here on my eyes. They need a little help in that department. There's a slight fragrance to it. It's barely, barely, barely there. I don't think that's gonna bother me. If you're familiar with the Givenchy mascara, that was overpowering. Never again. Fragrance and mascara scares the mess out of me. That's how I know my lashes will just cause my eyes to water up and cry nonstop. Oh, I'd like the brush so far. And because my lashes are so tiny, this isn't the easiest for me to do on camera. Their website says this is a cutting edge technology that combines astronomically, uh, astronomical length and volume with a lash growth extract. Ooh, this is gonna be perfect for me then. It effortlessly separates and coats each lash, providing an intense demi-matte black finish. Anti-flake and raccoon eye proof technology. Buildable one to two coats for a natural look. Three plus coats for total drama. This is one coat of mascara on each eye. Now, bear in mind, my lashes are very, very tiny, short, and my right eye, the, the lashes tend to grow very close together, so it's hard to separate. So I'm gonna do this with a second coat up close so I can see what I'm doing. There are two dermatology doctors who do videos that are very informative and educational on all skin and hair care you can think of. They review all kinds of products and discuss with you things that work for their patients and things that don't work and things that have worked on them versus things that don't work on them personally. They do tell you what lash growth serums they have seen work. So yes, they do exist. I'll link their channel in the description box down below if you're curious. Okay, my very short stubby lashes. This is two coats and this is one coat. Now, I can't say that it's lifting or not just because mine are so tiny. So it'll need to take some time. I'll definitely have to keep using this all the way through to see if I can notice any changes in my length. 
because currently I do not use a growth serum. I used to, I used to use New Lash. And for science, I'm gonna apply a third coat because it says bring the drama with three or more. So let's bring the drama. The drama with three coats on each eye. Hmm. Comfortable. Volumizing for sure. Not the best to give advice on lengthening, but I can see them. <laughs> so that's important. Definitely has a little bit of length to them. Very pretty. Okay. Oh, I like it. I'm going to use my Natasha Denona. This is in the shade. I think it's Camu Camu. If you need help with your liners for any reason, you feel like they're too dry, keep a lighter on your vanity and use that lighter, not on top of it obviously, don't wanna catch anything on fire, but use that lighter to help warm up the product so it glides on easier. I learned that tip from Savannah Silver. I also have here two of the lipsticks in the matte cream formula. I think those are the only formulas, oh my goodness. So I've got the shade Montreux and Molly Bloom. I do not speak French, I'm sorry. The packaging, so cute. Ah, I'm gonna use my Hourglass number one pencil. This is the shade Expose. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna line my lips with this first, wherever my little mirror went. Okay, Molly Bloom, the cutest little futuristic packaging in a mint color. I think this is very cute. This is a very comfortable formula. I do really like this. Now let's swipe that off and go in with this red shade. I'm a sucker for reds. I will wear a red any chance I get. Mmm, yeah. And this looks like a very wearable muted red, so I'm excited. This is a very beautiful, wearable, red undertoned. It's more pinky red, but honestly, it's comfortable. I wiped off most of that Denissa Myricks balm. It's very smooth. It's not settling in my lip lines for being a matte. This is not a drying matte at all. It's not a drying matte. Mm, teeth look good. <laughs> my lips aren't sticking together. I like that. This product is not nearly as weighty in my hand. It feels very comfortable to hold. It's not lightweight, not cheap, comfortable. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this shade in particular. There's something about this undertone that works for my skin tone and leans more red. I did not originally buy this Charlotte Tilbury highlighter when it launched. It didn't really appeal to me. And then over time, I kind of wanted it as the year went on and I was like, well, it's out of stock now. If it ever comes back, I'll pick it up. It came back and with better packaging. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow Highlighter. Oh, I have got mine in the shade Romance Light. Oh, 24 month shelf life. How much is it? How much product is in here? Six, no, seven grams of product. Let me zoom in and show you. Talk about beautiful. I hope my ring light doesn't make it obnoxious for you. It's got the little glitters in here. That is lovely. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, that's not a good sign. There's highlight all over the bottom. That makes me worried that if I pop this open, it's broken. Uh, yeah, look at that. I haven't even opened it yet. I just took it out of the box. All that highlighter on the bottom makes me worried. And the packaging is wobbly, so. That is not a good sign. I bought mine straight from, oh, it's all over the cap too. You can kind of see it. 
I bought mine straight from the Charlotte Tilbury website. Dang. Okay, well, that is a no-go for today. And it's all gone. I mean, I'm not even going to be able to press that in there. I can't even press this back into the palette. Come on. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's no salvaging this. Charlotte, I need a new, Charlotte, I need a new highlighter. Like, stat. <laughs> Oh, Charlotte, cute packaging, but okay. So on my hand, it's kind of cute, right? I guess I'll be doing another round with my rare beauty highlighter. <laughs> okay. Let's give this rare beauty highlighter another shot. I wasn't going to, which is why I put down my Pat McGrath blush. I would have worn this by itself to show you how it works today all on its own, but that did not work out. So this is a Sydney Grace brush, very underrated brushes. I'm gonna use it as a topper again. It's very luminous, a little bit more luminous than what I would like as a topper. Let's tone this highlighter down a little bit. This is my Cl Cloud Set powder in the shade Airy from Kosas. I'm gonna pick that up on a Chicahota brush. This is Z2, no, not Z2, this is Oh shoot, it just, it's, it's something. <laughs> I'm just going to buff out my forehead a little bit. It needs a little bit of love. And then buff this down. This just looks so much better as a blush topper, the Cheery from Rare Beauty, if you just buff it out a little bit. This is my finished look. I'm wearing the half lashes from Bright Lashes in the style Flare. I needed these half lashes. I'm sorry, it's gonna take me a while to get out of wearing lashes to just wearing mascara. It took me so long to go from wearing mascara to wearing lashes, so you gotta give me some time to reverse that. Let me talk about Queen Musia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm gonna start off with the mascara. The mascara, like I mentioned, it doesn't have um, a fragrance that upsets me at all. The packaging was my only complaint, so I'll get back to the packaging here. Formula, it needs to get to a point where it's a little more dry on first use. It's a little creamy right now, so as I use it, hopefully I will enjoy it a little bit more. On first application, first use, first impression, I really like it. I think it is a very beautiful formula. It's a little heavy for my lashes being so short, so I won't be able to use three coats or even two coats. I need to be careful and use one coat. And then over time, if I notice growth, I can start building that up. It did separate my lashes. I did find that it was easy to use the tip of the wand to separate my lashes with. Even though I have small, short lashes, I didn't feel like the wand size was too difficult to use. I felt like it was okay. While I prefer a smaller brush, I did find that this worked well. The formula, I didn't feel any clumping. I, I haven't noticed any, it hasn't flaked on me. Granted, I just put it on, so as the day progresses, I will see how it wears, if it starts to flake and break up. It didn't smudge. <laughs> Sometimes I can make my mascara smudge just by pushing it a little too close to the base of my lashes. Didn't have that problem. Eyes still, still aren't tearing up, so I feel like they're okay. I mentioned in, in the beginning that the packaging is slightly too heavy if you've got any chronic diseases or arthritis things of that nature which cause joint pain this might be too heavy for you and might cause you difficulty in applying it i stand by that as i used it someone who doesn't have any joint pain having a square shape as beautiful as this is as flattering as this whole design is and an intuitive and intuitive <laughs> intriguing as it is this right here while I don't have too much difficulty using a square shaped applicator, anybody with joint pain, you will probably have a difficulty with this. While the wand isn't as heavy as the ac actual package, the shape might cause you difficulty. If you're sensitive to bending your fingers in any way whatsoever, this might cause you difficulty. It's hard to roll the brush on the base of your lashes with it being square. Keep that in mind if you've got any of those issues, 
might be a problem for you. But if it gives me any length, I will update you. Granted, it's gonna take at least a month at the minimum for me to notice changes in length. Let me go ahead and talk about these lipsticks. One, let me mention, I adore the packaging. I think it's so beautiful. Two, the color, very, a please, very pleasing and stands out. You will find this in your collection no matter what. Whether or not it's gonna sit in my little lipstick containers, that has yet to be seen because I haven't tried it yet, but I don't think they will. So you might have to modify how you store these. According to them, this is a matte cream lipstick. It delivers a luxurious non-drying finish. I will agree with that. It doesn't feel drying. Wears comfortably and extremely lightweight. It does feel lightweight. You'll forget you're even wearing lipstick. Now I definitely can tell I'm wearing lipstick, but it's not drying and it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It's uncompromising performance with a complex of seven nourishing oils and butters. Hmm, please do indulge and apply as many layers as desired. The futuristic spiral component in our pastel green packaging is a true work of art. All shades were inspired by great literature and art. Mindfully crafted for the sensitive lip area without harsh ingredients, unneeded fillers, silicones, microplastics, and any other ingredients that one would certainly not like to ingest. Clean, vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, made in Italy, four grams of product. Part of me feels like it's kind of like a birthday candle, the way it's shaped and designed, but I love that it's inspired by art. Anything that's inspired by art, I, I, I just love it. You need to stand out in the crowd. The makeup industry is oversaturated, so unique things like this, I love. If I were to compare this formula, to my other favorite matte lipsticks. Okay, if I compare it to Westman Atelier's newest lap, bleh, matte formula lipstick, this has less slip to it. It's easier to apply on the lips. It doesn't move around as quickly and you feel like you're gonna color outside the lines like the Westman Atelier. I think this is slightly more drying than that, but I do think this is very comfortable. Price-wise, you are saving so much more, $50 versus $36. Like if I had on either side of the spectrum, Lisa here, Westman Atelier here, because the slip is quite a bit more so with the Westman Atelier versus Lisa, I'd say it's closer to Lisa's, if that makes sense. <laughs> Comfort, it feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's moving around on my lips. I don't feel like it's settling into my lip lines. I'm a matte girl, so if you are looking for recommendations on matte, I'd say this one's actually really good. I'm gonna have to wear it all day to see how it does. Eh, I did apply a lot of layers and I didn't, I didn't take those layers off. So I would not say this is transfer proof if you build it up. I'll give it time though, I'll see how it does. Dang, I am so salty about this broken highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. Ugh. So salty. Packaging is beautiful. Mm. Product, oh my gosh, it's still coming out of the packaging. Dang, I'm salty about that. I did review this like a little itty bitty mini review in my Sephora video. Won't be getting another shade, but this is not bad. If you buff it out and you don't have a lot of texture, like if you're younger, this is not bad at all. If you like glowy blushes. These are Bond eyeshadows. I love the little component. While I wish for being a luxury, luxury brand, cause this doesn't feel luxury. I wish these were metal and not plastic. I don't mind them though, they're lightweight. I really feel like these will travel well and I feel like it's kind of right up there with the theme. I love it, it's very beautiful. I feel like these will stand out and they're gonna be easy to find but also like the texture feels really good. So I'm not sure what it is with the mixed reviews, it could just be the colors. I only got the one neutral quad and I now have two of the duos, the black and the macaron. These aren't high shine, these aren't like super reflective metallics by any means. It does feel on the lids like, you know, these are a little more subdued. So if you are looking for something kind of in between flat and whoa, like blinding, this is the way to go. I do like it. And honestly, these are so small and compact and they've got two shades, which if you only want just two shades to choose from, this is the way to go. I added the Urban Decay liner to my, my lids. I wanted a little extra va va voom. This is the Moon Dust in the shade Space Cowboy. This is such an underrated product. 
I love this. By the way, add little things like this to make your looks pop. It's so easy. I built it up though, because I really wanted this built up and to like really be bold on the lids. Add this stuff. This is so much fun. And you can get this on sale during the Sephora event. So for my makeup today, I used Savannah Silver's tip. She has lately, I mean, or at least in her recent videos, she doesn't really upload a lot of beauty videos much, but she's been putting powder underneath her foundation. I have wanted to try that for so long. So today I did it and without thinking, because the whole time I was applying my base, I was like, I should do what Savannah's been doing and apply my base over powder. But then I applied the base and forgot about the concealer, applied the powder as I was thinking about it and was like, oh, well, I messed up about the base, but I'll get the concealer on top of the powder. I'd say it's still looking pretty flawless. As a dry skin girl, might be a little heavy, but it's looking pretty, pretty good. I'll have to see how it does. I was not really sure it'd work out, but she does it and she's so, she is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And so good at it. So I really wanted to try it for myself and I'd say it worked out or at least for now. I've got to go to a meeting for my children tonight and I need my makeup to hold up. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I won't have a whole lot of cracking. I can definitely see quite a bit more in my forehead than I was hoping for, but it's not too bad. It really isn't. While I haven't been the best at keeping up with sharing my weight loss journey with you guys, I am four months postpartum <laughs> tomorrow. He will be four months old. Oh my goodness. Four months post bleh, postpartum. I will post somewhere on this screen here a picture of my pre-pregnancy body. I am a very avid heavy lifter, physical fitness. It's part of my life. I, I've been doing it since my mid to late 20s, mid 20s. So this is very important for me. After multiple pregnancies and losses, my goal right now, especially as I turn 40 this year, is to get back into previous baby weight, which isn't really going to be previous because I've got a lot to build back up to. So here's a picture of that. And then today's weight. <laughs> so I am down one pound this week. If you recall, I was 170.4 in my last update. Today I'm 169 even. Yay. Yay me. Everything on my face today, other than the eyes and the lips, I'd say mostly just base. You can find them at Sephora for the savings event. Highly recommend those. I will have a link to my Sephora recommendations down below in the description box. Check that out. The sale starts for Rouge on Friday the 5th, goes all the way to April the 15th. I will have the dates listed below as well. Thank you guys for spending your day with me. I truly appreciate you. If you click on the links in my description box, they are affiliated. I do earn a small commission and that money goes back into my channel. So thank you for supporting me. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.